hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is cynthia and in today's video i'll be talking about how i made an outstanding stp application what i did differently to make sure i get in once a breakdown of the stp application process the steps and the various stages involved if you're coming across my channel for the first time you're welcome remember to click the subscribe button and to my returning subscribers Thank you very much. You guys keep me going. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Before we get into today's video, I'd like to let you know, I don't know for the National School of Healthcare Sciences. I am just a trainee sharing my experience on the application process. Now, let's get right in. For the STP application, the first step is the online application through a platform called Oreo. So you will create an account in Oreo, fill the application form, and in the application form, you'll be expected to um, write a supporting statement. The supporting statement is dependent on what you are asked to write about. It's just like an essay. For us, we we're asked to write how we meet the person specification for the STP, and it's 1,000 words. So you write that and submit it alongside your application and after that you are um you go to the long listing process and the long listing process is just taking the situational judgment test which is an online test you do that and that is the long listing process if you score very high in the situational judgment test you will then be long listed then after the long listing comes the short listing the next thing is the ranking are released. So the ranking is based on your score from the long listing and your score from the short listing. So after the ranking, if you are if you rank very high based on your specialty, you will then be invited for an interview. Before the interview, we are asked to pick our choice location. So across the country, the locations are released for where the trainings will be based that year. There's no limit to the locations you can pick, but you are asked to pick a place you are willing to go to. So I picked my location and um, I was invited for interview. So after that, you are assigned to a trust that will then interview you. Then after your interview, you wait for your decision. So you do your application online via Oriel, you submit that, you do the you go through the long listing process, which is the online test, the situational judgment test. You go through the short listing process, which is the um, clinical scientist reading the essay you've uh, you've written during your application. You then pick a location, you'll be invited for an interview, and after your interview, if you do very well, then you'll be assigned the position. So for the shortlisting, I took it very personal. If you're going to go for a process, I believe you need to understand it. You need to understand everything involved so that you know how to approach it. I found out that the National School have a YouTube channel and they do a webinar every year, question and answers and, and section where people ask questions about the application so that they can provide more clarity. So I watched the webinar for that year and I will listen to different clinical scientists make presentations about, um, I think, how to make a good estimate application and all that one thing i took out from that webinar was they kept saying your application need to show that you are motivated to do this it needs to show why you want to do this you need to show what to keep you going for the next three years i wrote exhaustively i wrote every experience that I had and how I met the person specification for the STP. I think I wrote almost 2,000 words and I had to um, I had to summarize and cut so many things down to fit into the 1,000 words. Yeah, that was what I did. So let me give you an instance. If you go to the National School of Healthcare Science website, you are expected to write how you meet the person specification for the STP. You are expected to show scientific skills, transferable skills, and personal requirement. So for the um, scientific skill, if you if you look at, you will see details and you will see assessed by. So you will see application and you will also see 
interviews, the first scientific skill that is expected, a committed in-depth interest in scientific practice and its application to direct clinical care of patients in a clinical environment. So after my research, I found out that your application needs to demonstrate and show clearly how you meet this you can't just say um, i am a very committed person i have in-depth interest in scientific practice no that will not work i need you need to show how you meet this and at every point possible you need to give an example and also try to relate it to the um to the nhs core value so the second one says ability to design research investigations and experiment. You can't just say I have the ability to design blah, blah, blah. That it doesn't make sense to me. So you have to show an example of how you have the ability to de design research investigation. For me, I talked about um, my master's. So I did a master's and I have a couple of previous research experience. So I use my master's experience to talk about my ability to design um, research investigation. So if you already have a scientific experience or if you have a laboratory skill or you need to think deep to so ask yourself how you meet all these requirements, so the skills that are related to each other, I try to find a way to link it. So talking about a laboratory, like um, showing that you have your understanding of quality control, you are able to um, follow guidelines, you are able to follow SOPs and all that. So you find the ones that are related. I found the ones that are related. I linked it together. I just ensured that I summarize it. So for your essay, my advice for you, sit with the instruction you are giving. Sit, if you are going to write about the person's specification, sit with it. Ask yourself, how do I meet this? Make sure you are able to demonstrate that you are passionate about coming into the STP. Something else I did before submitting my application, I went to Instagram and I found um, different trainees that share their journey and give application tips. I will give the names of the, um, the channels that helped me most and... Um, they are not aware. I've not spoken with them. This is not an ad fact. This is just me talking about what helps me. So I followed STP blog on Instagram. I followed STP perspective. So STP perspective also have a website where um, different trainees write about different topics. So I went to STP perspective. I think they have a section for application and they have different trainees say different things about STP application. I read every single thing on that blog about um, the STP application. So you can go to STP Perspective and read what the current trainees have to say about the application. You don't know the information that might help you to stand out in your own application. STP is very competitive and if you are passionate about getting in, I believe you should be able to do what it takes. So I went to STP blog. I read most of their posts about how to make a good application. So if you go to STP blog, you can follow them, go through their page, read what they have. It might help you. Then for cancer genomics, I followed Nosh. I think Noshology on Instagram. Her name is Nosh. Her, I, I literally lived on her page. So um, I went through her, her her story highlight she have different section for um application and all that i read all those i kept going up and down looking for what can help me after putting after getting all this information from instagram i went to youtube time for tea with me i listened to the interview she had with a cancer genomics trainee so there are different trainees so based on what you want to go for if you're interested you can go to her page and listen to the interview with your own specialty so in summary i went to the national school of healthcare website to read everything about the stp to understand what the stp is i went to the job description of the stp then the person specification of the STP because we were asked to write how we meet the person's specification. So I was there. Then I found out about their YouTube channel, the National School of Healthcare Science YouTube channel. I went to their YouTube channel. I saw like short, short videos um, about different clinical scientists. It helps me to understand who a clinical scientist actually is and what they do on daily basis. So I watched all that. Then I also watched the webinar they had about um, 
uh, about how to make a good STP application. I did that. I went to um, YouTube. I watched the Time for Tea with me. I watched um, her YouTube channel, the interview she had with the um, cancer genomics training. Then I went to Instagram. I followed STP blog and I looked into the materials they have about, they have on their page about how to make a good STP application. I went to STP Perspective blog. I read everything they have there about cancer genomics and everything they have there about how to make a good STP application. So this was how I presented an outstanding STP application. I made sure I had a perfect understanding of what I was going into. So if you think what helps me might play a role in your own application. I wish you well. So if you follow all this and I wish you well and I pray your application goes through. The information about the 2025 application might be coming out anytime soon. So keep an eye on my social media platform, my Instagram, my TikTok, STP with Cynthia and also here on YouTube. So for any information that is released on the school website, I'll definitely share it on my social media platform. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. If you've not done so, please click the subscribe button so that whenever I release the video, you'll be notified about it. Also, follow me on Instagram, STP with Cynthia. Follow me on TikTok, STP with Cynthia. I'll be releasing different information part time. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Remember to click the subscribe button, like this video and share. I will see you in my next one. Thank you very much. Bye.